Hey guys, welcome back to Real Housewives Recaps. Today I am covering all the crazy news going on in the Bravo world. I am so excited. I'm going to be talking about Teddy being fired. Woohoo! Kyle's statement, Andy's response, Rena's marriage, Lisa Vanderpump. Then we're going to go over to New York and talk about Leah's salary and some other shocking housewife salaries, her nose job. We're going to discuss Nene Leak. Leaks leaving, and lastly, there's a whole bunch of crap going on with Below Deck that I had no idea about. So, even if you don't watch the show, you're gonna want to hear this. So, let's get into it. You guys, it happened. Teddy was fired. <laughs> I got so many messages about this, and I am very happy to be reporting that. You would only hear me happier if it was reported that she was taking Kyle and Rena with her, but. One at a time, I will take it. Teddy put out a very boring statement on her Instagram, so I'll read you some of the highlights. She says, I don't want to bore you, but I figured I could give you a little update on what's going on. Found out that my contract as a housewife is not being renewed. Then she tries to make herself a hero and saying, I could give you the standard response of, we both came to the decision that it would be best. And then she prides herself on being honest. Uh, it's just Kyle's puppetry all over again. Maybe she just wanted to use this time to reevaluate her business. If you don't know what I'm talking about, which I'm sure you all do, check out my other video where we talk about Teddy's insane all-in business. It is wild. So the Daily Mail put out this article where they quote a source. You know, you know how that goes. But it says the network has been less than impressed with her performance on the show. They considered cutting her last season, but gave her one last chance. Even this picture is boring. I think it's hilarious. And my favorite quote is, she's boring and stale and does not offer anything to the franchise with her robotic and staged delivery when interacting with the other cast members. Hot damn, that's amazing. I think that's so funny. Exactly what we've all been saying in the comments, and I just think that's too funny. And then the last quote is, Kyle will most likely dump her when Bravo does. <laughs> that's probably not wrong. The article goes on to discuss the All In program, which again, I highly recommend. If you haven't watched, watch my video on it, because they say exactly what I had found out, which is, it costs $600 for a two-week jumpstart program, and you're basically texting pictures of your 500-calorie diet, and you have to exercise an hour per day, or you're kicked out. Then we move over to this one. Oh, I'll be so happy the day they announce she's gone. There's rumors circulating that her sister Kathy might join, so... If that's the case, I think she's going to be around with us for a little bit. But she put out a statement. To my friend Teddy Mellencamp, who I love and adore, I'm so grateful, R-H-O-B-H, for bringing you into my life. You work so hard, always giving it your all, at a pyramid scheme. You're so smart, kind, thoughtful, funny, and real. I look forward to witnessing what the universe has in store for you next. I know it's going to be amazing. But you won't have me in your life because I'm done with you because I'm a fame whore. Andy put out a statement as well saying that her departure from the show had nothing to do with her all in business controversy. So Andy ended up giving her credit and says she checked herself in her no BS address. I think it's still BS. I, I think it all does have to do, well, probably the community hatred of her and her... Disgusting business practices, allegedly. What did the third mean girl in this group have to say about it? Well, at the time of the recording, she hasn't said anything. She's too busy <laughs> addressing the rumors that Harry Hamlin was banging somebody else. So these rumors popped up on Twitter about two different girls that he had banged. Um, and one of them supposedly happened the entire summer of 2018. Lisa addressed this rumor in a joke, saying, yeah, I watched it. It was hot as hell. To quote Kyle and her by saying, be honest and own it. My frustration lies with the fact that this was the most boring season we've ever had at Beverly Hills. And we find out all this crap's going on behind the scenes with dirty business practices and 
husband's possibly having an affair and all this crap and we don't get any of that we have to find out after the fact then lisa vanderpump spoke out and i love her as a housewife i don't like her on vanderpump rules and all that crap going down that's a whole nother episode worth discussing but as a housewife she's hilarious and this is what she had to say lisa vanderpump slams teddy mellencamp after rhobh exit i love it She says, people said she was boring. I certainly didn't have a good experience with her, so boring would be one of the nicer things I could say. (laughs) Woohoo! My favorite part of her statement was, I think there was contention about her business, something about 500 calories a day. I don't know how anybody can survive on 500 calories a day. I think I eat 500 calories between 2.30 and 4.30 a.m. when I'm up at night. And then she says, anyway, I wish Teddy Mellencamp all the best, said no one ever. <laughs> I love it. I, that, I love that. I think that's hilarious, and I'm glad she said something. All right, we're going to come out of Beverly Hills. Thank God. We're going to go on to my girl, Leah. You know I love New York. You know I love Leah. Let's talk about her for a second because she's been in the news quite a bit here. So there was some speculation as to whether or not she'd be returning. Hello, we have to have her. She's fantastic. Okay, so you guys, when I was researching this story and getting all this information together, I found out something I had no idea. Do you guys know she was only making $3,000 per episode last season? $3,000! I've heard some insane numbers on other housewives, so I googled it. Season 12 of the housewives. And back in season 2, they were each getting paid 10000 per episode. So I just don't understand how they can justify paying her so little when she did so much. They should have given her a big fat bonus at the end. And to find information on the rest of the cast and what they were making and... All it wants to pull up is net worth. Now, on a funny side note, I found out that Aviva Drescher was making two hundred thousand per season. Two hundred thousand. They're only paying Leah three thousand per episode. That's ridiculous. So page six is reporting she got bumped to ten thousand per episode for her second year, and I say that's well deserved. I still want to know what the rest of the ladies are making. I really tried to look into it. I remember hearing something like when Lou became friend of, or somewhere around there. I think she was making about 400 a season, something like that. So that number sticks out in my head. I might be wrong. So the other reason Leah was in the news is because she got a nose job. Uh, It sounds like she, I forget the terminology, but she had the deviated septum and a nose job. She posted this picture. Everybody was concerned for her. But she said she's really happy with it and she can breathe. So I say good for her. So at a I believe jab at Ramona, she says, I'm never going to be one of those bitches that pretends like it's not work. It's contour makeup because that's effing weird. The reason I think that's directed at Ramona is because if you remember at the last reunion, they brought up Ramona potentially having a facelift. She denied it, but... It was in a very strange way, so that's what I think that's. Now let's jump down to Atlanta and talk about what's happening with Nene. So it was just announced that she will not be returning to Real Housewives of Atlanta. I'm mixed on this. I always held out hope for original Nene to come back, but I think she's not been that for a long time. And she's kind of hard to watch. Sorry, don't hate me. That's my opinion. What is yours? What did you think about Nene? But here's where I'm frustrated because she says... She basically says they went back and forth on salary and they couldn't come to an agreement. And I want to say, girl, you are crazy. I mean, how many more opportunities do you think are out there, especially right now during a pandemic? Jump on this. I'm not dying to have her back on the screen. I just think it's a little crazy when somebody turns down an opportunity like that, especially when so many of us are out of work. Now we're going to go over to Below Deck Med, but stay tuned because... Even if you don't watch this show, some crazy shit's going down you're going to want to (laughs) hear. So first up, there was some debate as to whether or not they will have a reunion, but Andy announced they're doing it. They're going to have a Watch What Happens live reunion. I'm not really shocked. I'm actually glad to hear it because I always hate when they don't finish off the season that we've invested ourselves in with a reunion. So I wonder if they'll bring Laura back. Probably not. So I'm going to start with the stuff that people have been messaging me about, and then I'm going to jump into the new stuff that just happened. So, big shocker, said no one, Tom and Malia split. 
That's right. The worst bosun and the meanest chef we've had. And that includes that awful chef that was mean to Kate. <laughs> um, they split, so that's not a big shocker. She confirms, yes, I am single. He's been such a dick, and she seems scared of him and his temper, so that's not a shocker. So Malia puts out this bullshit statement that says, my personal life seems to be quite the topic at the moment. Uh, you made it a topic. You made it a big deal that you guys bunked together. You wanted your boyfriend to come on the boat, and then you're shocked that people are talking about it. This became public knowledge when she posted cheers to all the ladies out there in their 30s, singles focused on their careers that give zero Fs. It got way more interesting when she st shared on Instagram a meme and she wrote, this is for you, buddy. The meme featured Beyonce and said the first time he cheats versus when you've had enough. So, what? I can't believe Tom was able to get one girl, let alone more than that, because... Again, all they have to do is watch the show and see what, see what an asshole he is. Speaking of assholes, let's go over to Captain Sandy. Whoo, I just found out this morning, and you guys, she is in a world of trouble. Listen to this. Captain Sandy put out a cameo on Tuesday, and I so tried to get you guys the audio, but it seems to have been wiped. Uh, I can't find it anywhere, but if you can find it, listen to it, because she sounds out of her mind on something. I don't know what, but she's on something, I believe. Something's not right. So it starts out with her being weird and giddy and grinning, and she drops the phone and says, maybe it would happen, the fact that I was dropping the phone, whatever that means. But then she says, Malia... I think is secretly gay, to be honest. That's my opinion. Everybody in production thinks it. Holy shit. Who outs people? It's 2020. What are we doing? This is crazy. Crazy that she said this, especially because she's been up Malia's ass the entire season. It's so weird. She then claps her hand over her mouth and says, whoops. This is going to be public, isn't it? Then she giggles again, throws her head back. That's just crazy. I can't believe it. So then this bitch doubles down. She then starts to claim, oh no, I was taken out of context when she claimed that Malia was secretly gay. I heard the recording. She was not taken out of context. She put out the statement saying, I was wrong for making that comment. It was taken out of context. It was sliced to make it into something it was not. My apologies to Malia. Bullshit. I heard it. It is not sliced. She says those things. I don't understand what she could have been saying otherwise to make it slice into that. So Malia's pissed, and for once, she's rightly so. She's saying, she put out a statement saying, I'm not sure why my sexual orientation is being discussed in cameos. If I was gay, it should be my decision when and if to come out to the entire internet. But I'm not. But if I was, open, I'd be openly and proud to be gay. I'm a huge supporter of the community. And I'd say that's a pretty good statement, Molly, and I agree with her. I've watched every season of Below Deck and Below Deck Med, even the sailing one. And I gotta say, this is the worst, most problematic season I've seen, and it's not even in a fun way. I love a problematic cast if they're bringing the fun, but this cast is not. And it's just crazy now that they're ending on this note. So curious to see what's going to come out about this. Oh, you guys, this, this was so much fun to put together. I Thank you to all the Bravo idiots out there that have done really dumb stuff this week to give me all this news to report. And I just, I love talking about this stuff with you guys. And I really appreciate all the support you guys have shown me and all the love and all the comments, and I, I just appreciate it. So thank you so much. Leave your comments below. I read them all. I really appreciate them. You can follow me here. You can follow me at Twitter, at Real Recaps, and I hope you guys have the best day. Take care. Bye-bye.